all right doing this video as a special request on how to hook up the high voltage relay on a Palomar 300A um, so basically we dug out a Palomar 300A that I already did it on because I think I've done it on all of mine so uh, this one already has it I'm just gonna show what I did or how to do it and I want to say be careful because that high voltage which you are adding the relay to to shut it on and off ain't no joke so um, you know if you don't know what you're doing um, just don't do it don't kill yourself a tram doctor don't want to be responsible for some mug duck uh, golden screwdriver in the thing and blowing it up or killing itself and all that um, so you know that's my warning so anyway let me turn this off the Palomar 300A, even without the high voltage key up relay, has three relays in it already. And the high voltage relay to shut it on and off would be the fourth. And basically, I don't know if it's in this order, you got a um, keyer relay or a control relay. And what it does is it controls the other two relays, it turns them off and on. So you got a control relay that controls the other relays. You got a preamp relay that uh, is on only when it's receiving and the preamp is on. And the keyer relay, when it keys up, it actually turns the preamp relay off. And then you have the, uh, what I call the antenna relay um, for your input and output. You know, when it's off, the um, output goes straight through. The input and the output goes straight through or if the... Um, receive preamp is on instead of going straight straight through it goes through the antenna relay into the preamp relay and then back out you know depending on whether the receive preamps on or off so you got the uh, control relay preamp relay and the antenna relay in it already in, in the palomars and the those that had the high voltage relay they had them at two places either here and I added this one on this is not factory or it would be on the board here uh, actually this screw here would um, be holding down the relay if they had it factory mounted to this board and obviously you can see this one didn't have it and it didn't have one over here either it did not have a um, high voltage relay on this amp so anyway before I show how I wired that um, I'm going to go through the circuitry on this schematic right quick and what I got yellowed is the uh, parts or components or the schematic that's involved with this. This is a um, factory um, schematic that has the um, high voltage relay in it and this here marked R4 which would be the fourth relay if it had it marked here again R4 and this is the high voltage relay this is the contacts and what it is over here you got T1 the external transformer and this is the high voltage up here and down here the um, high voltage coming out of the uh, uh, main transformer and the top one goes up to the diodes this is the voltage doubler uh, circuit there on the diodes and this bottom one goes over here uh, to the center of the capacitors. That's how a voltage doubler works. One end goes to the uh, center of the two capacitors and the other end goes to the center of the diode. So that's the voltage doubler. And when you have R4 in here or these contacts, they shut down one end or one leg of the high voltage until that uh, R4 closes that contact and then it puts them together and then you have high voltage going into the capacitors and it does what it's supposed to do when R4 is not keyed down that's just an open circuit just sitting there not doing nothing which is what you want when the amp is in standby you don't want that high voltage on the tubes all the time because um, uh, a tube short or go into oscillation or something the amp can go up and smoke even in standby not keyed down in standby whatever with the high voltage on it all the time so they added that um, 
high voltage relay uh, to most of the Palomar 300 A's but some of them didn't have it so anyway you're gonna add a R4 relay or a fourth relay that all it does is when it's keyed down it closes the contacts of that high voltage winding now mind you it's gonna be 300 volts coming out of this transformer going through that relay so you want a relay that can handle uh, 300 volts that much volts and it's going to be about uh, one amp give or take and usually amps aren't a problem with this it would be voted so as long as you get a relay that can handle 300 or more volts and one amp on the contact side you okay and also on the uh, coil side and that's the coil of the relay with the factory schematic right there. The coil is going to be uh, 12 volts. You know, it actually runs about 14, but 12 volts DC on the coil side. And in the schematic, one side of the coil here, that, um, that symbol there is a ground. So one side is grounded directly all the time. And the other side along with R3 they're tied together R3 and R4 here at um, point 0.4 so what happens is when that control relay keys down and it's in operate because point 0.4 and point 0.5 is actually the operate switch which is over here point 0.4 and point 0.5 and that's the standby operate switch contact so um, Earlier on, it goes through this gizmo, and when that control relay keys down, it sends the low voltage over 2.5. And then when you're in um, standby, it stays there. It doesn't go through because it's an open contact. Oop, I missed it. When it's in standby, it's just an open contact. Even with the uh, control relay uh, uh, keyed down. But when you're in operate, this switch is connected to point um, four. And when that control rate relay sends voltage to point five, this switch is when operate um, takes the vo low voltage over to point four. And then it comes in over on point four here. And it goes to both the um, antenna relay and the high voltage relay here both on um, both of them from point four so basically all we need to do is get the uh, um, high voltage relay we're gonna put in there a 12 volt coil and something that I handled a, a 300 volts at one amp and ground one side directly and this is my added one right here and it's got a green wire at one of the bottom coil contacts and that green wire just goes directly to a chassis ground right here okay so that's the uh, ground on this side the green wire and over here point four again is the uh, one side of the um, standby operate switch okay so over here is my standby operate switch you can see it's got an orange wire coming in and a second orange wire coming out that was factory and when I added it to it since I only needed to go to one side got to be the right side though of the standby operate switch I just added this red wire on the other side of the coil down there, there at the bottom it's hard to see with these wires in the way in the way it's mounted but um I had a relay here's a similar relay and if you see these bottom two pins, that's, you know, just like that one, you know, that's the coil on one side. That would be the hot side where I got the red wire. And over here is the, the green for the ground. So 
I just ran a um, red wire to one of the uh, contacts on this standby switch which is the same one that the um, R3 um, relay is connected to so that's it that'll key it down um, just the red wire going to the um, standby switch and the green going to ground so now when I'm in operate and that control relay keys down the voltage should come you know from that control relay to this um, standby operate switch and into the relay and the other side is ground and that'll key it down so how I got the high voltage off of this is um, actually pretty simple too um, basically since this one didn't have it and they do have different you know versions so I hope this one does it for you is that these two yellow wires here go across to this um, plug and that's where the um, transformer um, plugs in that on the other side of that and th those two yellows at least on this one don't go by colors though because I've seen one different colors but that's the high voltage coming in as you can see here that I spliced it and put some heat shrink around there and that you know yellows on one side and blue on the other so all I did was disconnect this yellow it originally went to this pin here where I got the blue at so I just unsoldered and disconnected the yellow from there which opened up that uh, high voltage line coming in spliced in this blue wire here and it goes over to the relay uh, one of the contact sides over here and I actually did all three of the contacts since this uh, relay has three poles or three contacts I did them all in parallel which would give it you know more current capability um, so since it was a three pole relay I just did all three so one side is going to all three of the um, open contacts one of the blue wires then the other blue wire you know once it closed goes back to the um, high voltage into the board so instead of being hooked directly up you know with the yellow wire you know right there I disconnected the yellow you know spliced in a blue over to an open contact of a relay through the closed contact of the relay back around and back to that spot so the high voltage is only going to kick in when this relay is kicked in and this relay is only going to kick in when you're in operate and when that control uh, relay hicks in, kicks in so that's going to be it but be very careful if you're going to mess with it because there are different versions of this amp and um, some have high voltage actually going through the uh, standby relay it'll be a four uh, four contact relay instead of the two um, so just be careful with a couple gotchas but that's basically um, how to wire in a um, high voltage relay to a Palomar 300A that doesn't have one okay I'm gonna just show a picture of the schematic right quick and again I got um, highlighted in the yellow what's going on our four contacts pins four and five of the standby switch standby operate over here on this version this other end of the standby operate that's them shutting the high voltage off and on with the operate switch which I don't really like having the full you know 800 volts going through the standby operate switch that's what they did there and most amps don't have that including the one here it does not have that that's just you know the high voltage goes straight up you know once it kicks in and this here is all the relay and all that other stuff this is R1 the control relay and when R1 kicks in that's the contact where when it's in uh, standby it goes over to the receive preamp and if the receive preamps on the receive preamps kicks in or the relay kicks in and it's when it's um, in operate that switch keys down or goes up there 
and then again that puts voltage on pin 5 and if the um, standby operate switch is closed it'll put voltage over to pin 4 and that'll key the um, antenna relay and then the um, high voltage relay there so hopefully this helps somebody and hopefully somebody doesn't kill themselves be careful if you don't know what you're doing you don't understand it just leave it alone you know send it to an expert or something that's it for this one bye